One of the things when considering a classic car purchase that a lot of collectors want to know is, well, how rare is it? How desirable is it? What makes it special? This 1971 Hemi Cuda is one of 107 built from the factory. A lot of people don't understand that rarity. In 1970, they also built Hemi Cudas. That year, they built 666, so quite a few more 70s than 71s. They've so far found, I believe, around 75 of the original 107. It's a red car. It's got a ton of options. It's got the front rear spoilers. It's got the leather interior. It's got the rally gauge package, power disc brakes, power steering, raised white leather tires with 15 by seven rally wheels. I mean, it's just a gorgeous car. My favorite feature of this car isn't really a feature, it's the condition the car was found in. It's so rare to find one that hasn't been butchered and had all the sheet metal replaced. And it's also a rare California car, which you'll notice in the rear, the valence doesn't have any tips through the back. When you find a 71, it's a special event. They're all hiding or they're already owned by somebody. In 1996, Steve Marinoff found out about one in Southern California where he lived. It turned out that it was bought by a military person in San Diego and it never left the area. It had an engine problem and ended up in the backyard of a suburban household and a linesman working on the power lines spotted it one day and that's how it was found. Steve made a deal and bought the car and it was so original and untouched that he decided to go ahead with an OE restoration on the car. If you're considering a valuable car like a blue chip collectible that's just going to hold its value, top of the pyramid cars hold their value the longest. This is one of those cars that's a safe bet that it's not going to go down tomorrow. They're not trendy cars. They've always been the top, they're always going to be the top. There's some other ones out there that on the surface they'll have all the jazz that you want to see, all the options that you're looking for, but what you don't see is underneath where they've had body panels replaced, sometimes poorly. The engines don't match, they're different years, the numbers aren't right. These are things that aren't really easy to see unless you hire a professional to review the car for you. This car has been fully vetted. It's got everything you could ask for. Original sheet metal, California car, a numbers matching engine, numbers matching transmission, all body numbers match and never left the car. It's not patched together. A non-rusty car. The original interior is still in the car. It's never been redone. The seats are leather and they're just like brand new. It's amazing. It's one of 48 automatics built for the US. So it's one of these unique examples that you just don't find. And it's worth the extra mile when you go to buy one. I have a long history with the car. Steve Marinoff took it to Rocket Restorations in Olympia, Washington to have it restored. And I happened to know the owner, uh, Mike Bowles. And I went to visit him one day and this car was sitting there in bare metal with paint, so it was in process. And I asked him if it was a real car, I didn't think it was, I thought it was a clone. And He said, no, that's the real thing, and I was just over the moon because it had been so long since I'd seen such a nice one. And I got to know him and, and actually had a, a part in having it restored. I supplied some parts for it and NOS things that he needed. And the engine's the original numbers matching 426 Hemi. It was rebuilt by Dick Landy Industries before Dick passed away. To stock specs, it's everything it should be. All the correct parts on the engine, the original carburetors, exhaust manifolds, all of the high dollar, hard to find little knickknacks are there. And this is a car that fits into a high-end collection. It's what would be considered a blue chip collectible. You can't go shopping for this car. There aren't any other ones that I'm aware of. Everybody that's anybody has documented the car. David Wise from the ICCA, Galen Govier has done his full report on the car in person. It's achieved the highest honors at OE Gold at the Mopar Nationals and Las Vegas at the Strip. And to my knowledge, that's the only car that's ever accomplished that. And that's just all cars, not just Hemi Kudas. Be sure to get your bid in today at HemigsAuctions.com. And if you have any questions, please be sure to post them in our comments section so answers can be provided promptly.